Okay, this is my iPhone 8 Plus. This is the case that I currently have on it right now. It's just a beautiful white henna design. Um, it's a soft cover like um, case that's on this. And it does have a ring socket on the back of it to which I purchased this from eBay. And it's really, really cute. It also works as a ring stand and it's, you can twist it like 360. So you can prop it up on the side if you want to or just lay it down but I like this but you know I usually rest my finger on this when I want to hold the phone and rest it on my hand instead of holding it by my pinky up underneath it this way but this is my cover right here my current wallpaper on it which I thought was super cute girly really springtime um I just thought it was really cute for my phone um I downloaded this from Pinterest so I'll provide the link below for those who are interested in wanting to get this wallpaper so I'm going to go ahead and open up to my own home screen and this is my current home screen. So on my first page I have calendar, email, and this is the Edison email app that I downloaded from the app store. I don't like the traditional one, this one is more feature rich in content and it has more um, to where you can load all of your emails here. You can um, list your unread ones here, snoozed ones. Um, you even get emails that are separate from the ones where you just want to watch, look at the attachments. And then this is an email assistant where you can look at your subscriptions that you sign up for, like newsletters and um, e-letters and things of that nature. Um, travel, if you book any airplane tickets, you can find your travel um, or reservation of booking tickets here. Packages, if you bought any packages, this can be tracked in this app. Bills and receipts, entertainment for concerts or tickets to the movies or anything you purchase will be found here. This is security measures for your phone. This just shows the accounts that you signed up for um, under this app. And I'm able to check all of my emails from this inbox. And yes, I have quite a few because I have a lot of emails. My next one is photos, nothing special. Um, I take a lot of selfies as well as um, photos from events and stuff. So I'm not going to go into that. Camera, clock, maps, news, stocks, the weather channel. I prefer this app because it's just more feature content. Let's check the weather and see what it's looking like in Daytona Beach, where I live. And I'm in my room, which is literally almost a dead zone. But it's a small craft advisory in our area until Monday because it's been raining a lot here. So it's currently cloudy outside at 76 degrees. But this is a beautiful app. It just gives you hourly, daily weather um, radar and maps so yeah the weather app is my preferred choice in order to keep up with the weather notes reminders which I use quite a bit wallet I have my bank card information my credit card stored in here home music iTunes store app store iBooks watch for my Apple watch and settings my music nothing major I don't have a whole lot of music in here but I listen to different forms of music um, different genres Currently, right now, I'm vibing to Cardi B, um, Bobby Valentino, Bobby Brown, Jacquez, Jacquez, I think that's how you say his name, Tank's remix for When We, as well as the original, which I love, um, All the Stars by Kendrick Lamar, this, this is my most listened playlist. I also support my local independent artists because I happen to be one myself, so yeah, that's, that's a big thing with us in, within our music community here in my city. Um, this is a feature that I did with 3D Not T, which you'll be hearing on my album real soon. And these are a couple of tracks from my upcoming album, which is executive produced by KLC. Shouts out to KLC and Mystical, my brothers, 504 Love. Love you guys. Free my brother, okay? Free my brother, Mystical. Free him. Um, these are other tracks in here that I've done. Um, I also have instrumental. I have a couple of beats that were sent to me by other producers. Um, I listen to old school and new school too. So I have a little bit of everything in here, guys, in my music app. So that is currently what's popping in my playlist. Down here in my dock, I have my phone, my messages. This is my Safari web browser. And this is my social media apps down here. Um, Facebook is really for family and friends. So that's personal. I do not disclose that to the public. Messenger is something that I loathe and detest, but I use it because sometimes some of my clients locally contact me through here. Instagram, um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, let me see if I can pull that. Um, Color Me Bad 829, that is my current Instagram, and you can follow me on there. You can see all my work here, as well as some of my makeup pictures here and some of my beauty buys. So, yeah, 
follow me on color me bad underscore 829 that's where you can find most of my work there i'm um, twitter princess at color me bad 829 which is spelled with one e so if you want to you can follow me on there and it's right there so yeah follow me on twitter check me out on my twitter um, Echo Phone is also a Twitter application which I use more often than Twitter. Sometimes when one app crashes or doesn't open or is acting buggy, I have a backup um, Twitter account that I like to use. Um, as well as this one right here which is Uber Social. I absolutely love Uber Social. I started out using this one first for my Blackberry when I had one back in the day when Blackberries was popping. And incidentally, I still have my Blackberry. I'm never gonna giving it up. I love my Blackberry. <laughs> but this one is feature rich in content. Um, it's loaded with a lot of features. You can change the color theme of your Twitter profile. It comes in, I think, five different color formats right now. Mine is in the raspberry color, as you can see right here, which I absolutely love. And up here, you can see the different um, categories. This is my general timeline. These are your mentions, DMs. This is an inner circle to where the, mo the people whose tweets that you read most frequently are found here. I don't know why it's not working. There it is. You can manage your inner circle here. These are the tweets that I most likely um, read. And this is like another separate timeline of those that you follow the most from your general timeline. Right here is games. You can do a search. This is just a picture timeline where you could just look at pictures right here. This is um, was currently trending in worldwide as well as in your local area. This is your lists. My profile right here is nearby tweets. These are your likes, photos that you take here, retweets, and then in your settings. Um, that is my artist um, Twitter. Um, and then it has where you can reset the Uber bar, theme, font size, sound effects. You can do um, shortening of your links here. Um, I already paid for the um, ad-free option like some years ago. So yeah, I don't have to pay, pay again. But um, it's worth it. It is very worth it because this app is the business. Okay, I use this one quite a bit. Also have UCAM Fun, which is an alternative to Snapchat when it comes to their Twitters. They just offer lots of different fun filters. I didn't want to be seen, guys, so you have to excuse that little faux pas. But as you can see down here, they offer different um, filters. So I'm not even really going to try to put myself on camera because I'm looking a hot mess right now. But these are just the different filters that you can use down here. They even have different frames. This this Twitter, um, this You Can Fun app is so dope. I love using this when I don't want to use the same old tired Snapchat filters, even though they're cute. Marco Polo, I communicate with family and friends on here. My Pinterest, it, for those who are interested that want to follow me, um, you can find me at Color Me Bad. That is my Pinterest right there. Right here is Instagram. Um, this is where I want to repost or, um, videos or pictures from Instagram. And then here is my Uber social um, that I just sh showed you guys. Boomerang, we all know what that is. Um, Black Planet, yes, I still use Black Planet, but I have a couple of friends that I network with on there when it comes to business, so that's the reason why <laughs> I still use Black Planet for those who are looking at me sideways like, girl, you still on Black Planet? Yeah, I am. Bitmoji, everyone knows what that is, that comes with the Snapchat app. Okay, up here I have different folders for different categories. This is my editing photography folder, and in here I have Facetune, Facetune 2, Kira Kira, which adds that sparkly effect to all of your pictures. InLight is a photo editing software that I love, 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 love to use, which is also from the creators of Facetune. Typepick is my standard go-to when I want to add fonts to my pictures. Pixomatic um, is also another photo editing software, is, which is also from the creators of Facetune. Square Ready and Square Ready Video are um, apps that I like to use to resize my videos and my pictures. And then I can do that frame of, um, frame inside of the frame picture um, when you want the background to be blurred and it's the same image as the main image. That's what Square Ready does as well as Square Video. Pick Stitch is what I use to collage my pictures. Adobe Draw, I love to use this. Over is what I use to do all of my thumbnails for my YouTube videos, and I absolutely swear by this app, and I absolutely love it. 
pro pick editor is when I want to change my profile pic on my Instagram and you can add borders you can even add a blue you know certified check to your pictures or your images if you want to they offer different prints gradients um, different um, colors to you know the border of your Instagram pictures and they resize them to be the same exact size as your Instagram profile pic line upper is when you just want to um, mirror a picture inside of here keep safe is what I use to keep you know photos and videos separate from my um, from my camera roll on my phone and it's also protected by a um, four digit password which you can set you can also take pictures inside this app um, and store them inside keep safe and it doesn't take away from your memory storage on your phone gritty post is when I want to just grid my pictures into sections and upload them like that on Instagram pick play post is basically the same thing as pick stitch only you can combine pictures and videos plotiverse is super dope you can use this when you want to animate certain sections of your photos so I like to do this like say you have a picture of waves crashing on the rocks on the beach side you can actually make those waves animate and move like they're crashing on the rocks so this one is super dope for that Lumiere is also another animated gif app that I like to use which also offers different gradients backgrounds and effects Tweegran and curve text is what I use for adding, you know, just making word memes here. Curve text is when you want to curve your text into whatever shape around an image and, you know, leave like um, wording. Flow paper is so gorgeous. I absolutely love this when I want to just do artistic lines on a picture. We're just going to use this plain background, for instance, and just tap this line here. You can choose your different brush styles here. You can choose your draw mode there. You can add a background picture from here or choose one of these solid backgrounds here and it's already on purple so we're going to do touch and choose one of these brushes up here i don't know if you can actually see that it looks like watercolors and it leaves a rain rainbow gradient of lines across the picture um you can also go into this and go back to um the other mode which is continuous which is once you start a line or, or a drawing it just continues and you can see it moving across the screen that is amazing and it just intensifies and then you can start over if you want to and delete it but I love to use this when I want to do effects on some of my pictures Prisma is another app that was very popular um, a while back when you want to make your pictures look artsy or artistic in a cartoon format and Toon Camera does the same thing um, and this app is my health and lifestyle. I have my period tracker, which I've used for about eight years now. I have the paid for version and it accurately always predicts when I'm ovulating and when my menstrual cycle is going to start. Food Networks in the Kitchen app gives me inspirational ideas for new recipes. Bible study, for um, which is by Olive, is something that I like to use when I want to get my daily word. Activity is when I'm exercising and I like to use this to keep track of, you know, my exercise activity or how much I move during the week. Relax Meditation is a beautiful app. This sometimes helps me to go to sleep when I can't. And I'll go in here and it has different sounds in this app that you can use, like sounds of the ocean waves crashing on the rocks and different things like that. Um, you can also choose your favorite sounds in here. Like this one is good. You can combine sounds if you want to, adjust the volume here, or you can even do a flute. For the birds. It just offers, you know, like different sounds that you can fall asleep to, and then you can save your favorites down here, which I have a couple where I combine some sounds. This is the one I fall asleep to the most. Rainstorm rain. I love the sound of rain, so I'm always falling asleep to this particular one. So I have different favorite ones that I have combined or made in here. And I absolutely love this app. It's just beautiful. So, yeah. And then this is my health app. And that's what's in that folder. These are my extras, to which I really don't pay attention to these because these are like standard with the iOS system. So that's basically what's in there. I, I kind of consider this to be <laughs> junk. Music is my music app where I have SoundClick in here, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, VMI where I want to check, you know, 
make sure I keep track of my little publishing money, my little royalty checks or whatever. Ringtones is what I use to make my ringtones with on my phone. iHeartRadio, GarageBand, and Melody Assistant for my iHome Bluetooth that I have here at home when I want to listen to my music. These are my games. It's just nothing fancy. I, I'm old school, so judge me, okay? Um, I have a Blitz Super Mario Run, which I'm addicted to right now. I used to have every version of Angry Birds. I just have two now because I beat all the other ones. Um, Angry Birds Season, as well as Angry Birds Rio, Izumas, Temple Run, and Diner Dash. In my finance folder, this is my bank that I bank with, TD Bank. This is my credit card company right here. PayPal here is where I um, process and accept credit cards and debit cards. PayPal helps me to keep track of my um, balances as well as my purchases here. Vibe Mobile Bank is an app that was where well, a card was issued to me through my um, school when I was attending college. And this is what they used in order for uh, us as students to load our student you know, aid or you know, our refunds onto this particular card. Since then, they ended their partnership with this company, so I decided to just opt in and continue to use this app. It's like a prepaid, reloadable app, but this is what they use in order to load our um, financial aid funds onto this particular card. Credit Karma is where I check my credit to make sure it's on point, and Point of Sale is for my Square app, which I also process debit and credit card payments through here, but not as much as I do through PayPal here since I have been using this one. I prefer this one better. Um, this is why I blow all my coins, basically. <laughs> I spend money um, at Amazon. eBay is my most frequent go-to where I like to shop the most. Wish I could just get a few things from there. AliExpress, Aftership helps me to track all my packages in here. Ulta Beauty, C Plus for Craigslist, Sephora, and Chic Me. And then over here is Ebates and Walmart. In my productivity folder, I have my voice member voice memos here, my bad, my Dropbox, Adobe Acrobat, Acrobat for my PDF files. Image Convert helps me to convert file formats, you know, um, to the file formats that I need if I need to submit them as documents for something. So if I wanted to um, submit something from a JPEG or JPEG to a PNG file, I'm able to convert it through this app. And Sign Now is an app that I use in order to sign legal documents and send and receive. And this app is my video app, YouTube, of course, YouTube Studio Creator, which is where I um, track my analytics, check my comments, and see how many views and whatnot that I have in there. Keynote, which comes with the um, iOS um, system on the phone. iMovie, um, which is what I use to edit my apps, I mean edit my videos. I happen to have two other ones that I use besides iMovie. Video Leap is a little bit more flexible for me, and I absolutely love this. This is also from the creators of Facetune. CuteCut is another video app that I love to use in order to, you know, edit my videos. This also offers green screen background, so I love that one too. FaceTime and Video Crop. I like to use this when I want to rotate and um, crop my videos and po um, post them up. And then I have clips over here on this side. So that's what's in my video folder. And in utilities, I have Power Clean. This thoroughly cleans my phone. It's not enough to just delete your files and then delete them out of your deletion folder on your phone. They're allocated to a RAM space somewhere in your phone to where that space is not really free. Power Clean helps you to completely eliminate those files from your phone to truly free up space on it. So I love using this to clean up my RAM system, my files, my videos, my pictures. Um, it helps speed up the speed of my phone um, as far as loading pages and things of that nature. So this is dope for that. Wallpapers for iPhone. I like to use this because it has some very pretty wallpapers in here. Then you have your standard TV app, um, Apple TV app. Um, mail, as you can see, I have a lot of mail here. I need to clear that out. Numbers, which is standard, as well as podcast and calendar. And then Cool Key helps me to change the color and look of my keyboard. So if you go up here and go down here to the keyboard, you can actually see where I have the background pattern. And then you can change the font size, the border um, of the keys, as well as the color of the keys right here. So that's what that looks like. And I absolutely love Cool Key. It works like a dream. And then this is a radio station that I tune into here regularly to where me and my musical team and my, we, we call ourselves Team Daytona or we're HMI, HMI Squad. 
We have a radio show that we host every Monday here in our city called 386 Gems Radio. So tune in every Monday at 6, between 6 and 11 p.m. to check us out and hear us on the air. I even have my own radio segment about the music business, just teaching game to the young up-and-coming artists about the music industry and what they need to know legally in order to protect themselves. Um, here is my Dairyland Auto app, which is my auto insurance company. Snapchat, if you want to add me there, my Snapchat is... Drum roll, please. Red Fox 829. So add me on there if you choose to. I try to post on there regularly, but since the new update, it sucks to me, and I don't really like being on here as much as I used to. Uh, my Metro is what I use in order to pay my Metro bill as well as keep track of my data, data because this phone is on Metro PCS. My other phone is on AT&T. Um, this is um, Apple's files, where I like to keep files in this particular app. And right here on the last page is just my weather app. So that's basically what's on my iPhone, um, guys. I'm going to do a separate video because this one was long enough as far as, you know, showing you guys what is on my iPhone. So there will be another video following right behind this on an updated 8 plus iPhone case right after this video. Okay, superstar. I will check in with you in a second. All right, peace, love, and kisses. Bye.